Ah, I should probably zoom it back out now. Welcome back to another video everyone. So it's the end of the month, you know what time it is. Time to go over the memes that happened during September. It wasn't a particularly good month for memes, but when it... My dog just jumped off my bed and is now lying on the floor instead of my bed. Doesn't make any sense. It wasn't a particularly good month for memes, but I think we're all used to that now because it's been like that for a while. Let's just get straight into it. First of all, the Mario movie. So in the most recent Nintendo Direct that happened about a week ago at this point, during this event, Miyamoto comes out and says, hey look, Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong and Chris Pratt is Mario. Goodbye. And it became a meme, probably one of the bigger ones this month. You already know that the film itself, when it comes out, it's coming out at the end of next year. You already know it's going to be a massive meme, just like it was about two years ago with Sonic. It's funny because with every reveal of who's going to play who, it became more of a meme. You start off with Chris Pratt as Mario, and then eventually Jack Black as Bowser, and then you end up with, again, Seth Rogen playing Donkey Kong. But again, there were edits of the cast itself, so sort of like finding old clips of the actors, and then putting them over Nintendo character videos. What? And then there were just straight up like parodies of it so you know like Tobey Maguire playing Big Bully so that was a meme I did like this one and um, watching it live was just a different experience everyone was completely unaware of what was about to go down and it was just sort of one big global what the fuck at the same time the next meme on my list is the 9 plus 10 kid I know it's been like what seven eight years since that meme first blew up 2013 2014 I remember watching that on vine while I was at school on my iPod touch yeah it's been a while but the reason it resurfaced this month in particular is because of the date. We in the UK and pretty much everywhere else in the world are yet to experience this iconic date. We're going to be experiencing it next month because we don't have that date format. We're going to be experiencing it next month, so maybe it'll become a meme again in October. When the day comes on 9 10 21, he will decide your fate. 9 10 21. Judgment Day. Again, that meme kind of fizzled out after that date, so maybe it'll revive again next month. Now, the next meme on the list wasn't something that I would saw too much. When I asked for a recap of this month's memes, this one was brought up quite a bit, and it's the Drake the Type of Dude memes. And when I read that, I thought, hold on a second, is this like a revival or something? Because Drake the Type of Dude memes have been a thing since, like, the dawn of civilization. Turns out, it's not even like a new variant of the meme or anything. It's just reposted memes from 2014. Drake the Type of Dude to go to the gym and whisper to the treadmill don't let these guys walk all over you. A fall afternoon, farmer's market, Drake is apple picking and stumbles across a bruised apple. Who did this to you? He whispers. Drake the type of dude be looking at a falling leaf and say, it's okay, I'll catch you. I know reposting these now is just ironic, but back then I think you're actually supposed to find them funny. Although there is a new ironic version here, Drake the type of bloke to shut the refrigerator door with his hips. But other than that, it's pretty much the exact same meme from about seven years ago. I remember it because I actually used to find them quite funny back when I was about 15. Now the next meme is another one that I'm not particularly too familiar with. Apparently it's a TikTok meme, so there's that. But it's the devious licks meme. It's a, apparently a trend where you rob stuff from school as a joke. <laughs> Okay, I think I must be watching something different to everyone else. I know TikTok is a bit weird when it comes to searching videos up, but yeah, none of those are funny. The trend is basically just using the same sound, which I'm not going to play just in case it gets detected by the copyright system. And you just have to pretend to hit a lick. You have to steal something from school or something. They're just like these completely random things. I did see one like maybe about two weeks ago and that one was kind of funny, but I didn't know it was an actual trend. But all the ones that I just found right now when I typed it in, they were really not that funny. Respectfully! I don't find it funny. That's actually all the memes that are on my list. I know there was like an Animal Crossing meme, but that is an 18 plus inappropriate one from what I understand. You know, a few people mentioned it to me and I searched it up on Know Your Meme and I read the first few sentences and I thought, okay, I don't want to read into this anymore. There was probably some other TikTok memes, but I don't talk about them if they're like TikTok exclusive. Um, I only do if they sort of are big enough to break out of just TikTok. You know what? Screw it. I'm putting this meme on the list. But that being said, let me know if I missed any memes down below because again, I probably did. Just make sure that they weren't in last month's video and make sure that they're not just exclusive to TikTok or something like that. Because that's probably why I haven't seen them. Let me know down below what your favorite meme of the month was. Mine would have to be the Mario movie. That being said, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all in my next video. But before I go, I've got a question for the gamers. 
what have you been playing recently? What, you thought I was going to give up on this segment after one video? I've been playing some Chocobo Racing on the PS1. In that same Direct that I was talking about earlier where the Mario movie got announced, there was also a new Chocobo Racing game announced. There was a Chocobo Racing game being developed for the 3DS, but it was cancelled, so it's really cool to see one come out on the Switch. I'm looking forward to it. I think there's going to be a ton of different Final Fantasy characters from across the series. I mean, there's already VV and Steiner confirmed from FF9, and the fact that they had other Final Fantasy characters in the original, I feel like they're going to have to include them in Chocobo GP next year. But yeah, the PS1 game isn't anything too special. It's not better than CTR or Mario Kart or anything like that. The controls aren't the best, but it's got a cute little adorable story mode. It lasts like two hours. It's sort of like a storybook format. You know, you've got different chapters and it's being told by Sid. You set off on a journey with Mog, hoping to find more answers about the blue crystal that Chocobo has. You meet a bunch of other characters along your journey that also have them and eventually find out what they are, where they come from and stuff like that. The format is generally the same. You'll meet a character and then you'll have to race them and then they'll join you on your journey and then you go and meet someone else and then you have to race them and then they'll join you. It did get a bit repetitive and I did question why are we even racing at this point but the game is completely aware of that and it actually pokes fun at it in the dialogue. It's just a fun little game that I wanted to revisit because of the new one that's coming out next year and even though I was only on this journey with these characters for about an hour before it ended, the ending credit sequence nearly made me cry. I felt like I'd just finished a 50 hour game. Just a fun little game that I wanted to revisit because Chocobo GP was announced for next year but again gamers let me know what you've been playing suggest me some new games to check out i recently bought uncharted be sure to stay tuned to the polosaurus rex after outro sequence to find out my thoughts on uncharted but that being said thank you for watching hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all in my next video